I finally freaking got it! Yes! Hello viewers, welcome to the Rain Side Fighting Game channel. Uh, here we dive deep into the heart and soul of fighting games and the community. I cover gameplay, tutorials, content overviews, and peripheral reviews. If you're new, please consider subscribing and let's get on with this video. So uh, this is continuing on, on my learning how to play Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite uh, video series uh, for beginner players. In this video I want to talk about movement, uh, stepping away from from doing easy combos and canceling moves and stuff let's talk about movement because that is pretty down. much essential to playing Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite so uh, what better way to show that than to demo it in training mode so in this game you need to learn about how each character moves and how they move and what options you have because uh, you staying put in one spot in this game can get you killed pretty quickly. So let's talk about the options of movement for this game. Uh, I may have dived into some bits of it in previous videos but this is mainly about movement. So we have Ryu right here. So in this game you can walk forward and back right. Some of the stuff might be in the game's tutorial mode but I'm going to elaborate more on it. So again you can walk back and forth. Uh, you can, yeah, you know, crouch. You can jump. You can forward dash. You can back dash, right? And dashing, um, as you may know, is double tapping forward or double tapping back. Or uh, it's assigned by default on the macro two punches. So that's dash. And those options, walking forward, walking backward, and dashing, is universal with all characters. And that you can do a jump, right? Uh, and that each character's jump height might be different. It might be more floatier, more uh, further in space. And you can do a hyper jump in this game, or a super jump, where you tap down, then you press jump or up to do a, a hyper jump. You see how it jumps? You see how that's? See how it kind of stays in the air pretty long? And that he has all the uh, the wind currents <laughs> below his feet. So that's the that's a, a, a hyper jump and you can do it with any character so Iron Man same thing right dash or dash the macro dash we're using the two punch buttons you know and keep in mind each character's dash animations and walk animations are different right then you need a, a short hop or a hyper short hop which is by pressing down up and down uh, and you can do the up and in direction, up forward, up backward, and this does a short hyper hop. See? So this is a regular jump, hyper jump, short hyper jump. Because by default in the game, jumping it, it, you, it's very floaty for a lot of characters, right? You're in the air for very long, and sometimes it's not really good to uh, start your offense if you're jumping in. So, if you do the short hyper hop, it's really quick. Right? In this game, you can also air dash. Um, and keep in mind, not every character can air dash in this game. So Ryu, he doesn't have that option, unfortunately. Right? Look, see, I'm trying to tap forward in the air, can't even do it. Iron Man, you can forward dash, back dash. And some characters are just limited to forward and back dash in the air if they do have an air dash option. Uh, whereas some other characters have an eight-way dash, uh, which can be dashed from forward, backward, back forward, down forward you know so each character will have their own options you just have to explore it and you have to kind of understand the movement and the spacing of each movement option right so keep that in mind when you're playing you have your dash, you have your walk speed you have your walk, uh, you have your forward dash, back dash and you also have a hyper jump and hyper short jump so, uh, now I'm going to change characters real quick because some other characters have other options too that are only strictly for them. 
All right, so here we have Morrigan and Otron, my two characters I switched out for Ryu and Iron Man. And these characters have different options when it comes to dashing and air dashing. Uh, Morrigan, she has a very unique forward dash where she levitates in the air. You can see. That's by default. That's even doing the regular two punches. Even her back dash is like that too. So you have to keep that in mind when you're picking characters. Not every character has the same movement option. And you know, the uniqueness does give a flair to each character and gives them more options to do things. Um, but you know, overall she still has a forward and back dash. It's just it's not the standard one. Even an air dash is kind of like that too. So this is an example of an air dash. Right? You look at Morgan's uh, jump a lot quicker than Ryu's. So keep that in mind. And you have Otron. See, so see his dash is too a little bit different too. Very fast dash. Comes a lot of screen. And as you see, uh, Otron has a uh, eight-way dash, uh, and some characters have this where they can dash in any direction in the air. So most characters can go and dash forward. Right or backward in the air, whereas Ultron can do a up forward dash, up back dash, uh, down back dash, down forward dash. Uh, it's a lot easier using the punches to get this done. All right, so so that's an example of dashes. Um, and overall, that's pretty much movement for all the characters in the game. I kind of covered most of it. Uh, with that being said, I'm going to go on to a more advanced, uh, what do you call it? More advanced guide for movement, which will be my next video for instant air dashes, which I sort of did earlier. So stay tuned for that. Again, thank you for watching. Hopefully this, you know, easy, quick tip helps to improve your movement in the game. I understand that you need it to get around. So... Please comment, like, share, and consider subscribing to my channel, Rain Aside. Have a good day. Peace.